Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobi here and welcome to a new acrylic pouring video. So today I'm gonna work on this diptych. So each of these panels is 16 by 16 inches cradled wood panels as always primed with gesso and taped the sides and for this painting i'm gonna work with uh, several different shades of blue with white river in between and some bright and beautiful golden accents this painting this diptych is a commission for my client i'm super excited to work on it and see how it turns out so without further ado let's get started So today I want to work in fragments. Um, I want to work on the bottom part first and then I'm going to add colors at the top and work at the top corner, top diagonal. Uh, all of my colors are mixed with water only. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know this has been my most favorite mixture lately for so many different techniques. Um, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So first of all, I'm going to align where the first part of my river is going to be. Yeah, this is how I want it. And I also want to add a secret message. Harmony Flow is a secret message for today's painting. So uh, for today's piece I have prepared quite a few different shades of blue and turquoise and you're gonna see the names of the colors on the screen but if you want to know exact brand that are used for each of these colors I will include all the links in the description so check it out. Okay, so I have quite a few uh, different colors here and I want to blend them in to create that multicolor base. I will add a lot of depth to this painting and of course it will give me some cell reactions and beautiful lines. So I am totally loving this effect. Okay, and the base is done, so now I want to add some violet and gold on a border between uh, white and blue, actually more like inside of the blue, and blow it out to create beautiful sort of golden flow that will also give me a lot of gorgeous cells and lacing. Um, for my violet, I just thought instead of using um, violet color, I'm gonna tint it. I'm gonna use a tint of it, so I'm gonna use a tint of it, so I'm gonna add some white. Because this color dries really dark and... I don't know, I feel like... a bit lighter variation of it will look better. Because when it's dry it looks almost black and... it's not exactly what I want in this... Um, color palette. Alright, so let's add in that violet. I feel like I want to add a few touches of red violet as well. Now some gold. And this one here I have also mixed, so this is a mix of gold and a hint of orange. I wanted to use one more gold, but just warmer uh, gold for some accents. I think that will look really beautiful in this color palette.
Now let's blow it out. To create initial flow, I'm not gonna use a blow dryer. I'm just gonna use my breath. I might use a blow dryer after. We'll see how, how it looks, how it goes. That's looking gorgeous. I love how these colors work together. Some pops of gold, but not too much. So it's gonna look just nice when it's gonna be dry without overwhelming this painting. I do feel like I want to blow this part a little bit. I'm totally loving how this looks. Some really cool details with this iridescent color I can see in this section. It's gonna look gorgeous when it's dry. I might need to blow this after I work on the, on the top part. All right, let's get started with that. Okay, again, let's torch it and let's swipe it out. Okay, I'm just gonna repeat all the same steps. Just add in some colors uh, inside of that blue section and blow it out. Okay, and let's add a few accents of orangey gold. I'm actually going to connect those whites now. I didn't do it before because I didn't want my bottom part to push the top and stuff. But right now, as the bottom part is done, I feel like this should work just perfectly. I love this beautiful white river <laughs> and the way these colors look when blended into white, so gorgeous. Which parts I want to improve? I like this um, openings of the White River to be more, uh, a little more fluid, a little more um, less defined, you know, so it sort of goes out there. Okay, I think I can stop now. One thing that I didn't mention at the beginning is that my client gave me two paintings as a main reference 
for this piece. This one and this one. Colors with some blue and gold, but also this energy and playful movement like in both of these paintings. So I think it's a perfect balance between the two. I really love the movement. There is a lot going on. And need to keep in mind that these colors will dry darker, so it's not gonna be so vivid. It's gonna be more muted, more deep, more rich, with beautiful bright pops of gold and iridescent colors. Let's see how it turns out. Let's see how it dries. Uh, we'll be right back. Keep watching. Dry, shining, and beautiful. Here is this dancing beauty all done and finished and covered with a layer of epoxy resin as always for this beautiful glass-like effect. And check out these metallic and iridescent colors that really spark up so much in this painting depending on the angle of light. You can see it as I'm pointing the light, some of the sections spark up so awesomely. And I think it really gives this painting very moving and dynamic effect, you know, like waves of water that are always moving and changing. And I can really feel this in this painting. And of course, there are so many beautiful details and lacing and cells. And what I love the most here is where this greenish blue color blends into white all across the white river in the center. So where this color blends into white, it creates the most beautiful tints of this color from dark greenish blue all the way to light turquoise. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. This is another color that works absolutely amazing next to white. Definitely a must try. Let me know, how do you like this diptych with the white river composition? I think this one has very uprising and just really cheerful energy. Um, do you want to see more diptychs, triptychs, quadriptychs, you know, all kinds of multi-color, multi-panel paintings? Um, I'll chat with you in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel to be notified for all the latest and greatest acrylic pouring tutorials. And check out my website, olgasobi.com. I share a lot of good stuff there as well for acrylic pouring, so definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay creative. Bye-bye.